Hello guys, what's up? Uh, my name is Rajat. Welcome back to our channel World of VFX. First of all, thank you so much for subscribing. We just crossed 1000 subscribers on this channel. Thank you very much. And uh, first of all, we'll talk about today PCG new procedural texture plugin, which is a newly updated uh, plugin from Unreal Engine version 5.2. So let's begin. So first of all, we just go to file and new level and I'm just selecting open world. You can use anything and then simply press create and don't save. And here we go. We have this. Now to enable this, we need to go to uh, editor and then plugins and where you need to type procedural content generation and framework like this and just need to turn this on. And right after that, you will get a pop up called restart Unreal Engine. So right after restarting you need to go here and type pcg and you can find out this option called pcg volume simply drag and drop into here so now you have this cube so whatever it will happen it will happen under this cube so also you can increase the size so let's increase this to suppose around 20 so now it's pretty big as you can see all right so first of all we need to select this pcg component over here you can find this called the graph simply click and you can find out pcg graph over here simply click and right after that you will find out this you need to save as a like tutorial underscore pcg and simply press save now we have successfully created a pcg and then double click over here and you will find out this new blueprint or like if you are familiar with blender you can call it as a geometry nodes which is input and output after that just drag and drop into here so that you can switch between these two pretty nice now we have input and we have output it's pretty simple connection actually so basically whatever you will use it will come from input and whatever you view it will come on this output and these are the nodes which you can use to create some procedural environment and whatever you can use so all the nodes are here actually so now just simply drag this connection and uh, i'm just typing uh, surface and this is called surface sampler like this and uh, right after that i'm just drop this on and just drop down so now this is the landscape connection so i'm just connecting this connection to this surface like this and just disconnect so simply control and click it will disconnect so now we have this so after that you can't find out anything if you connect with output to this output just go to save and go to untitled now you can't find anything over here just because of you just right click and you'll find out this option called debug simply turn this on and save it and go here and after that simply you can just click generate over here so now you can find out something like this so this is basically again i'm talking about the procedural so i'm just selecting this box and uh, let me show you how exactly it will work i'm just increasing the camera speed over here and then i'm just selecting this and after that if i'll move this to around this hill area and if i'll put it down something here you can find out this procedural is exactly working just like the mountains it's pretty simple actually all right so after that i'll just uh, go to this tutorial png and then right click turn this debug off now need to add some meshes over here so first of all before doing anything let me select this first and i'll just increase the size a bit so let's see around 50 so now this is pretty much increased and also i'm using this space to create some variation so that you can understand how procedural things exactly work all right so now go back here now we are using uh, something to create so first of all if i'll just drag it over here and you can something called static mesh spawner simply connect with this and simply turn this on drop down this is a very simple drop down so now we have to import our foliage here so first simply select here so you can find out this panel so you can uh, use this called mesh entities and just simply press plus and go to index and after that you can find out this static mesh now press ctrl and space to find out your contained browser where i have few trees as an assets so let's say i'm importing this drag and drop over here now if i press save and go to untitled you can find out all the trees are like this and it's pretty dense and we don't want this basically so now go to tutorial png once again and now let's decrease the surface sampler size so this is called point per square meter simply decrease it more so simply press 0. Point, let's say around 003 and uh, let's say save it and now you can see we have very less trees over here and all are organized 
Now let me tell you how exactly all these strings are work. So if I'll decrease it to let's say around three and four, so that I can control everything properly. So now basically, if you add more trees, it will not generate more. Basically, it will remove few trees from here and it will replace with this. So let me show you how it will work. So first of all, go to tutorial PNG once again. Now what I'll do, I'll just simply select this and I'll just press plus button once again so that you can find out one more index and over there you can add more meshes. So let's import the second one and press save and now you can see we have separate trees and the amount is not increased they are basically replacing few trees with the new one very simple so with this process i can add two more so simply go here and let's add this one and plus one and let's add last which is this and cool now press save and you can see our procedural trees are pretty nice and you can find out this with just a single click this is really really game changer let's change the light setup a bit so that you can really feel how the trees are exactly working it's pretty nice just one single click you can use this now if you want to change the variations what you can do simply go to the surface sampler and let's increase it let's say around 0 0.005 and then just press save and here we go we have few more trees with more density isn't good guys if you find out this tutorial helpful still now then definitely subscribe this all right so we have this now if you want to uh, like fill this ground with some materials you can use uh, anything like quicksell mega scan to so simply select the landscape to so simply select the landscape just from here so that you can find out this material panel landscape material and if you find out this uh, pixel bridge you just go here and open this pixel bridge and go to local i have already downloaded one so simply press export media quality and after that it will automatically import over here simply press material instance so that you can find out this material over here simply drag and drop it to this landscape so guys i applied a material over here but i just need to show you how exactly powerful it is so if you select this or let me show you how it's going to work if you just increase the size so let's take around 60 you can see it's changing okay if i increase the size in any specific directions let's say around x-axis then automatically see the trees are getting changed let's say around if i'll see like 100 see the things are changed this is called procedure so whatever you change it will update instantly with your scene and it's looking really really amazing so yes, yeah, that's it for today. Hopefully you really enjoyed this tutorial and if you find out really helpful then please consider to subscribe to this channel World of VFX and for more Hindi tutorials definitely subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much. My name is Rajit. I'll see you very soon. Bye. -bye.